Hey everyone, it's Dustin with TechMD coming here with another teardown. We got the S20 5G that we're gonna be tearing down today. And uh, the whole point of this video is to teach you how to replace the screen, battery, or cameras, or um, charge port, you name it. So if that's what you're looking for right now, then you'll be getting that. So we want to put our phone on a hot plate like this or a heat gun or hair dryer. I put it on for about five minutes at 99 degrees Celsius, and that will make sure the phone is nice and toasty and hot to touch. Make sure your phone is turned off, because I totally forgot to do that. Hey everyone, Nicole here with Cellbotics. We are all hands-on cell phone and computer repair training center. We have trained hundreds of students from across the country right here in our training center located in Greenville, South Carolina. Stop being afraid to do repairs, stop searching for things because a lot of things you don't even know what to search for, and don't practice on somebody else's device to grow your skill. Come on down and get training that'll give you the skill set to do the repairs and diagnostics to make the real money. Be sure to use code TECHMD at checkout and you'll receive $50 off of your course. I look forward to seeing you in class. After you get it nice and toasty, we will be able to separate it. We're going to use the iFlex tool to separate it here. I don't like to use uh, plastic cards or, or plastic tools to open it. Uh, it takes longer in my opinion and the metal tool, the iFlex tool, it works just fine. So after it's nice and warm, we're going to go ahead and start separating it. Let's just start on the side here. Get my tool to get it around those edges. And then slice around. I just pulled the tool back just a little bit so I don't go in too deep. And it comes off like so. Go ahead and set that off to the side. I'm gonna bring the hot plate over here with me. And the whole point of this is that way I can remove everything out of here with ease by the time I get to it. You don't have to do this, but you'll eventually have to warm up the other side, so it's just easier to do this. I recommend using the 2UUL screwdriver this is an automatic one, so you don't have to do that, but the 22UL looks like this. It's double zero, it's one of the best ones out there for doing this. Keep your screws organized and because these screws can be slightly different in size. I'm using a magnetizer over there to the right to help me get the screws out. These screws are in really tight, so I'm using the screwdriver right now. The screws don't want to come out. Usually I use a, a finger or, or something to pull it out, but I have gloves on. So we'll do it that way. Just using some heat resistant gloves that helps me tear down the phone here and not where I have to worry about burning myself. Just picked them up at Walmart. They're not that heat resistant, but it's better than nothing. These screws are in super tight too.
Make sure you don't touch the camera lenses, that's important. All right, now that's removed, get your spludger, plastic spludger tool. And let's get under here. Lift this up and see if there's any hidden screws. Nope, none, this comes right off. Um, so the S20 and S20, or S20 5 plus 5G and Ultra had the 5G antennas over here, but this one does not. Go ahead and disconnect the battery while we're at it. And let's pop this off. Sometimes it just requires more effort. This one does not want to come out. Ah. Acts like there's a screw still in here. There we go, come on. That was really on there. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect these cables and get them out of the way. Okay, cables disconnected. And the screen cable. Let's get the battery out of there. So you can use alcohol to get the battery, but just a nice ice estimate tool with some heat. Battery comes right up with no ease. Make sure you don't puncture the battery or it will light on fire and create a mess. Can't believe this phone cost one thousand dollars. The Samsung phones are just not cheap. So this is interesting. We got a circular vibrator motor versus the other ones were square. I wonder what the difference is. There's your in fingerprint sensor reader. Okay, we're gonna eject this SIM card. ASAP created a solution to maximize the total amount of power that can be safely generated without using fossil fuels. This is enough energy to power solder equipment, laser machines, AC and ventilation systems, and any heating element for all sorts of repairs you might encounter. Building mobile solutions that cut your expenses. Whether you have one store or 20 stores, maintain the territory all while cutting overhead rent. Do away with your added expenses, cut costs, and order your custom van now. And disconnect this right here. It's your volume and power buttons. Front camera. And there's one screw right here. So we can lift up the board and yes, we can. Board's coming out. Now for the camera, it kind of slides in there as of what I've seen from the previous ones. And it is a little glued on. I'm giving a little bit of pull here to hopefully remove it, but you're gonna definitely have to remove this if you're going to a new screen. And 
This has, that's different. There's some glue here around the sides. They really glued it on. All right, now let's go for the ear speaker. I was just po poking at it and right in this hole here. And I'm just adjusting the glue here. So that way I can easily sit back on the new frame. And that's all the components removed. You might have to remove this, but I don't think so. Most Samsung frames come with the ear speaker and this. Everything else you'll most likely have to move. We're not gonna remove the screen here because if you buy just the screen, you're looking like it's gonna be aftermarket and that's not gonna be good. They're easier to break. You want original. It's gonna be a full assembly like this. We don't need it to warm up anymore, so we're gonna go ahead and set that off to the side. So then you have your new frame just like this. You're gonna go ahead and assemble your phone again. Okay, the air speaker decided to stick its way onto the mat over there. I'm trying to find it everywhere. Careful, these things are sticky. Har har har. Good joke. All right, let's go ahead and set charge port back in and screw it down. This is interesting. I didn't notice this piece here. So what we're gonna do here is unclip it carefully and then put it back where it belongs. Which was in that hole there. There we go. Go ahead and clip that back in. This is in, I'm clipping more stuff in here. Put the one motherboard screw back in, right there. Put, uh, let's put battery in now. So I like to clip the battery in first and then set it down. But we're gonna unclip the battery while we're connecting all the connections. Battery last. Lots of screws. Go ahead and clip the battery back in. Put the SIM tray in. Top piece here. And we'll put this piece in. everything is lined up properly. I just gotta get all these screws in. Make sure your back glass is on the hot plate right now, warming up. Nice and warm here is important. 
That's gonna help seal it back up. If you need to use uh, glue to re-glue it down, I recommend T7000. It's right here, but the original glue is just fine. But if you decided to destroy the old adhesive, you'll need that. All right, while this is toasty, set it down, make sure it seals. And I use this to press it down, but you can press it down with your glove for about two minutes. This helps really seal it, in my opinion, and uh, you need five minutes if you're using the T7000. So we're gonna give this a few minutes and uh, turn it on. All right, so after a couple minutes, go ahead and release it from the grips or release it from holding it down. Turn it on and make sure it works. There it is. Now, if it doesn't turn on, just plug into the charger. That should kick it on. That's it, guys. Nice and sealed new S20. Great phone. I really like the size of this, and I could definitely see using this as my daily driver. For the size, it's just a perfect phone. I mean, if this is comparable, right? This is the iPhone 11 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy S20. Thickness-wise, about the same but weight wise this is slightly lighter and you know obviously you get more real estate up here i'd still go for the smaller phone i like the small phones anyways guys thanks for watching uh if you like this video please like it um or subscribe if you want to see more uh, i plan on doing more teardowns in the future thanks for watching <laughs>